All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome back to Bronze to Mythic. That's right, Bronze to Mythic returns Strixhaven Draft. You can see, of course, let's get the hair thing out of the way first. Uh, I did a, a sponsored raid Shadow Legends stream uh, a week or two ago, and I made some stretch goals for all the folks. Because it's, it's like if you get a certain number of signups, you get more money, and I, I like money, so that's where you all come kind of in. And I did some stretch goals of uh, a hair straighten stream was one of them, and then a reverse mohawk stream was the highest tier. Well, y'all did it, and I appreciate that very, very much. I know Ray doesn't have the best reputation or whatever and stuff, and but they, they pay money to sponsor them, and I appreciate that. So uh, you made me money. Here I am. That's the hair thing. I'm not talking about it anymore, except for this part down here. People on chat on stream wanted to have a goal for, for Liberty Spikes, just like the punk rock spikes. So if you're a sub, then you can sub on YouTube, whatever. Cool. Bronze Smithic is back, and I have made a brand new account. That's right. So we had to... We had to restart, of course, because uh, the ladder won't, reset, won't bring me back to bronze. So we're going to have to cycle through some accounts here. Because we, I said I'd do bronze to mythic every new set. So you can see here, brand new account. Bronze to mythic is the account name. Bronze tier 4. And we're all, we're all ready to go here for some Strixhaven draft. We're about to do draft number 1. Draft number 1, premier draft Strixhaven. And of course, if it's your first time here, welcome. This is bronze to mythic, the show where I take my account from bronze 4, all the way to mythic. Took us 17 drafts in Caldheim, I think. We had a really good, we had a really good run in Caldheim. And uh, the goal of this show is basically to show you all what it's like going from the the bottom to the top, kind of the skills you need to to work through each level um, early on to kind of learn in the format. I've only done about three Strixhaven drafts, so we're still I'm still very very new to the format, and we're gonna all learn together, and we're gonna work our way through, learn what works and what doesn't work, as well as just limited fundamentals in general. Um, those who don't know. My uh, my limited rap sheet, if you will. My best Pro Tour finish was limited back in the day. Pro Tour Prague came in 24th. It was an all-draft Pro Tour. I have 7 0 limited at Nationals. Um, I uh, won limited PTQs. I used to be a, a primarily limited player way back in the day during my Pro Tour days. Um, and now I'm obviously a primary constructed player. But still have, I still got the chops. I still got the chops. Still got them. So uh, let's go. Bronze Mythic Limited. Strixhaven is a crazy set. And um, Lessons... Uh, learn a lot of crazy stuff going on. Magecraft, holy shnikes! Inside Esports, my wonderful sponsor has gifted 20 subs to y'all. Inside, of course, running great tournaments. I played their event last weekend, uh, playing their 3k, I believe, this weekend. I'm not even sure when it is. Uh, inside, they'll, they'll say it in chat. Uh, I don't have my slide ready, but uh, thank you so much, Inside Esports. Check them all out. Of course, the uh, the best new tournaments series out there on MTG Melee. Open up our pack. One of the coolest things about Strixhaven is this slot right here. Mystic Archive slot. There's a bunch of cool old spells ready to go. And um, Shock's obviously good. This seems to be a very big format. We really want to be going big and doing big, powerful things. Um, Bye by Zero is pretty sweet. I, can be, I, have, no, I have no pick order at all. Maybe my second or third draft. I mean, this card was really good for us. We did a I came in second in the Sweats so Invitational, a draft tournament uh, last week. This card was really good for us. The, uh, my zero is good. Um, Regal Moment's also pretty good. I'm going to take, take this thing. The Ruth is pretty good. Pretty solid. 3K double in this weekend for Historic. I'll be playing that. So we'll start with the, uh, the Artist. And see where we go. Of course, a lot of spells in this format make creatures. So copying that is really, really cool. Uh, Ruth, I've even passed an elite spellbinder. Now, this is an enemy colored pair set. So, the enemy colored pairs are obviously where you're going to focus on. You can splash, but it's got to be kind of in your pairs. Uh, so, Rutha here with spellbinder. We only be splashing Lorehold. That's kind of eh. I believe this card's really, really good, but it's also do double off color, or, or one of the off colors. Um, we got our learn. It's not a very good pack for us, I feel like. Um,. Not a very good pack, indeed. Uh, Spellbinder is quite good. We can try Spellbinder. We can try Spellbinder. Rise is good. Yeah, I'm going to try to take, take Spellbinder here. The most important thing, it seems like, in, the, in formats like this, where it's all about color pairs, is to make sure you're in the right pair. Because in gold card formats, you just want to get in the open lane. Because you get a lot of the really good gold cards late if you do that. And um, oh my, so this is a lot of a lot of is it cards here. We have an uncommon and a common missing. And there are four good Prismari cards. So right off the bat, we're ready to roll here, I think. 
Now, pick order wise, I have no idea which of these is best. Um, both the four four makers are pretty good. Um, having a, the, with lessons, so of course the lessons go into your sideboard. Your learn cards can go find them. Uh, the first lesson of each of each individual lesson is really really good. Um, Masterpiece is pretty awesome. Iteration is pretty good. I actually have no idea what the correct picture. The Spectral Mage is also pretty sweet. Um, it's a good enabler. Um, I think we're taking the Mage. I, I really don't know what's what's best here. Um, because it is like our third draft. Mage is more of the enabler. There are a lot of big spells. And there's only a few enablers to respect the Mage. And we're, uh, we're unfortunately, we've, we've passed a lot of Prismari cards too in that back. But hopefully Prismari is really open. Um, okay. So, Academic Dispute will matter learn spell that can be a removal spell, kind of, too. Make a creature block. Um, reject. Twin Scroll Shaman. A oh, Prophecy's here. That's a pretty solid one. Pretty solid one. Might want the, the learn cards more important, though. I mean, we're going we're gonna to figure out what's, you know, what's more important as far as learn cards and lessons. Like, when do you take each one? Um, I'm going to take the learn card here. It's a cheap spell, too. The really good thing about the learn cards are that they it's just a spell that makes a spell so it double triggers mage crap which is really good all right another spectacle mage uh elemental summoning which is like good i mean do we do want one of these really really bad but i think a second mage is awesome so we can go there um like that like that okay big thanks to uh inside esports with all the subs it's gonna be going off for a while now now the one like serious draft i did was the tournament i played last week the uh, 100 pence uh so that's an invitational I lost the finals with a really good Simic, is it deck? A Prismari Quandrix deck. Because the, the mana ramp features of Prismari go really, really well with the, the, the expensive spells of this set. Um, so this card does seem really, really good. Other options here aren't that exciting. I mean, it's, Sudi's kind of weird. Battle Seers. There's a lot of like Great cards like Battle Seer. <laughs> What's up, Sad? Thanks for the resub. Uh, that seem like they're... Um, just like okay cards that aren't great. I'm going to take a... I guess this card's okay. I guess I'm going to take the moment, I guess. I'm not sure. Kind of a weird pack for us because it's kind of off color. The There's a lot of cards that seem like... Ephemerate? Ephemerate's kind of cool. Uh, they are like this where they're like... They're kind of fine on rape, but... Tree Licker, awesome, my friend. Glad you liked it. Hmm. Spell seems like fine... Warden's okay. Um, I don't have any big spells yet. All right, I'll take the Warden. Another Eureka moment? Jeez. But there's also a Pigment Storm, which is a removal spell. I think I want the removal spell here. I'm not convinced we're playing green, so I'm pretty happy just taking Pigment Storm. Uh, it's also a 5 mana spell for our Double Spectacle Mage, which is pretty great, too. So... All right, we'll take the campus here. Late summoning, it feels like. And then... Sudden Breakthrough, which is first striking. That's not really what we're doing. The study's like... I don't think this card's great, but it is a learn card. White is definitely kind of open, too. It feels like blue isn't very open. Like It's like Prismari and red and white are open. Um, I don't think we're playing this card. We'll see. Another one, jeez. Uh, okay. I doubt we're playing any of these cards, but sure. Uh, Relic Sloth, Twin Scroll, Shaman. I mean, Shaman's good with this study, obviously. I mean, we just. Sure. Blood Age General. Yeah, it feels like blue is like really not there. This card's really good. Plunder Forbidden, I think. Jeez. Now we have double. Oh, now, now we have double twin scroll shamans. I now I wish I taking that pump, sp pump spell actually. All right. So pack one's weird. Uh, we have no actual blue cards, but Prismari seem kind of open. Um, we have a lot of red cards. Now we have double twin scroll shaman, which is kind of like a thing you can do probably. Um, we open a pack. Serpentine curve is super sweet. Frost trickster is pretty solid. Um. Planning is pretty solid. The removal spell. We have no lessons yet. Um, Professor is good, but like we're not really white. We just have this one white card. And we're not splashing it, obviously. 
Um, probably just take the Pigment Storm. Uh, yeah, it's possibly moving to Lore Hold. It is possible, but the Storms are good with the Double Spectacle Mage, too, so... Annihilation's, like, okay. I don't think it's, like, a great card. All right, and we get past... Now you pass the Maelstrom Muse, which also makes our big spells cost less. Okay, I mean... There's also a Pledge Mage... A prophecy. I don't know. Quandra's Prime Mage is also Prime Mage pretty sweet too. Yeah, I think we're like still on the Prismari plan. I don't think we're getting off the plan. Cause we have we have pretty good enablers for it and everything. We have gotta find some big spells, but um Muse is pretty good. I feel like this feels like our inflection point of where we decide like what where we're gonna go. Um We uh yeah, we're going to take the Muse. Alright, and we get past another Rutha. Which is like... I mean, it's a good card. We don't have like a ton of spells. I mean, the thing is though, with all the things that reduce the costs, even just copying Pigment Storm is pretty sweet too, so... We'll take Rutha here. I'm not like thrilled about it, but there's not much else for us in this pack. So... <sighs> Approach the Second Sun. I think this card's like broken in draft. Um... You can just like stay alive and cast this card. You just win. We can also make us cheaper their stuff. That might be our splash, folks. It's also a teaching of the archaics, which is really good too. Um, although we're not really gonna empty our hand, I don't think so. Soothsayer adept. Um, yeah, I mean ship it. The approach is really good. All right, so now we need to find some Boros lands to splash with. Another study. I think we're off this twin scroll, twin scroll shaman plan. I think if they, they, that could be like a, a, a deck, but I don't think it's really where we want to be. Um, we'll take this an introduction to annihilation. Is approach an instant win with Rutha? No, you need to actually cast a spell. Copying a spell is not casting it. You can gain seven more life though. So, all right. Uh, I think introduction's fine here. Get our first uh, wish board going. Our first learn, first lesson of the board. Lorehold Campus is here. Uh, unfortunately, Fractal Summoning is really, really good. Uh, it's a really good learn card, and like this format seems to be all about big mana stuff. Spectacle Mage also. But we really need, to, we really need the fixing them. Uh, I'm gonna take the fixer. I think we do have a lot of ways to make it cheaper. No, if you if you have to cast. Actually, cast it. Copying is not casting. I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the, the campus here. All right, another twin scroll, fuming effigy, lorehold apprentice. There's a lot of like really middling cards here. I don't really want to play. Uh, Infuriate, lorehold apprentice, frog Monday, first day of class. I mean, in theory, I mean, again, like, the Double Strike deck is probably a deck we'll draft, but I feel like we have much better cards than that. I don't need to do that, so... I don't even know what to take here, honestly. All these cards seem bad. Um, another Eureka moment. Pop Quiz is good. That's a solid card. Pop Quiz, Hot Shot. Serpentine Curves, also solid. Although we're not, like, cranking it on spells, really. We do a lot of creatures. This card was really, really good in my, my deck from the, uh, the tournament, but... Planning's also kind of fine. Kind of a cool card. It's good with approach. It's cantrip. Cantrip's pretty solid. I'll take the planning, actually. Symmetry Sage. I mean, Campus Guide can help our splash. It's not like a great card, but... Alright, pretty uh, bad pack for us. Pretty bad pack for us. Why is that... That equipment might actually be fine with our token makers, but whatever. Alright, so grinning Ingus tables, I guess. Dispute planning. I don't think we're playing this card. I don't think we're playing the Twin Scroll Shamans either. Another Twin Scroll Shaman, jeez. Yeah, I don't think we're doing that. Alright, pack three is opened. Negate seems awesome. Because there are so many so many of the creatures in the format are just non-creatures. Uh, so negate seems really good. Also heated debate, good removal spell. Uh, I'm not playing this. 
right now we're at. I mean, Dispute seems pretty bad in our deck, too, honestly. I don't think we're playing Study in our deck. Or Effigy. Negate or Debate? Negate or Debate? It's probably still Debate. Debate's pretty good. Um... Yeah, Rutha copy debates another Rutha. Jeez. Snow Day is pretty sweet, too, honestly. Um, been impressed with this card. We have a lot of ways to make it cheaper, too. I like Snow Day here. Um, pretty solid. Thrill, Curve, also kind of nice, but... Bronson Mythic Returns. Hope everyone has it going. Welcome. Again, I explained the hair thing. It is a it was a stretch goal for my raid-sponsored stream. You all made me, made me a lot of money doing raid stuff, so I appreciate that. And uh, said I would do a hair straighten stream. Nicole straightened my hair this morning. Fervent Mastery. This is like the triple Entomb. All right, I don't know about that. Uh, all right, we got a, a, a Environmental Sciences here, which is a, a good card to, to learn into. So that's a nice one. That's a nice one. There is a, a Pigment Storm also. Honestly, isn't this card busted too? But we don't have many things to actually leave our graveyard, so sure, yeah. Let's take the uh, Sciences here. Sciences! No! Let's go on our board. Scroll shaman it up. Saboteur, we will. Don't worry, all right? We'll definitely we'll definitely have a scroll shaman shed deck. I just don't think this is this just isn't it. Revitalize. Revitalize is fine, honestly. Oh man, the tomb shard is good with the other card. Um I like revitalize a lot. What's this though? Um you draw three cards, an opponent creates two treasures and scry two. If it bosses in pain, you draw X cards. It's like a decent card draw spell. Um, it is, we do have multiple ways to make it cheaper. This card seems really good in our deck, actually. I wouldn't mind a third Spectacle Mage. We got some pretty chunky spells. Opt is dope, honestly. Uh, that's, that's our first Fractal Summoning. So right now our wishboard is... I didn't miss any, right? No. Wishboard is... Oh, I wish there was like a separate thing for it. We have like two wishes or whatever, or two things. All right, I'm going to take the, uh, the Summoning. I don't think we have enough stuff that were ops necessary. If we had multiple like serpentine curves and stuff like that, then sure. But like, I think we're more we're more of a uh, a spectacle mage kind of deck. It wasn't op anyway. Although I think I want the uh, ooh wow this pack, this pack is juiced. Opt muse serpentine uh, land. Um, I think the muse is just great though. We have all these expensive spells. Yeah, I just gotta take the muse here. I think Mardu Clerics could be a thing. I, I, I need more context than that. I mean... Teferi's Protection. Or our first summoning. Summoning's really good. Until your next turn, Lethal can't change. Game protection from everything. Orange you control phase out. Why would I want this card? In, um, yeah, pretty easy summoning here. So now our wishboard is much better. Uh, Reconstruct History. Turns an artifact, an enchantment, an instant, a sorcery, a planeswalker. I mean, I don't think we're playing that card, but sure. Yeah, we have some flyers too, so we can't just like be down. Like, you know, a bunch of flyers and pigment storms is definitely reasonable, so. We have the spellbinder too. I think our deck's pretty good. I think our deck's pretty good. Negate tabled? Bingo. That's insane. That's insane. Brought some mythic, folks. Episode one. Let's go. I know there's no showdown of skulls in this set, but. You're pumped to Bronze Mythic. Let me know in chat. Let me know in the comments. Uh, Thrill tabled also. I think Thrill's great. I think Thrill's great. Yeah, I think we did a good job finding our colors here. I think Approach is also really good. Like, good secondary win condition. Right now we're at 21 playables. An all-day stream. I'll be on for a while. Uh, unfortunately, Nicole is still recovering from her surgery. So Nicole is basically confined to the couch. So I've been having to do, you know, run, run the household for the most part, make sure John's got ready for school, making meals and everything like that, taking care of Karin. So I'll be on for about maybe five or six hours today. Hopefully we'll get three drafts in. If you cast this, since we're going to counter on this, it's very good. Spell Satchel. Resculpt. Uh, so yeah, I, I think cards like this just aren't good in this format. They don't, they're like, they're too, they're like okay on rate, but like don't really do anything. Uh, so, 
Jeez, yeah, exactly. Of all progress. Ooh, of all progress. All right, so I think we're actually pretty sweet. Um, probably need to add one playable, right? Yeah. Definitely, uh, like, a 17 land format. Usually I play, like, 16 or 15 in best of one, but you just have so much to do with your mana every turn. Uh, so I think that looks pretty good. Um, we currently have a satchel in. Whenever you cast your copy, it's where you develop a book counter on this. Move three book counters, draw a card. We have a lot of cantrips, too. I'll try it out. Try it out. I uh, need to add one more card. There isn't really a card I want to add. I'm not going to lie. I might actually just not add a card. Um, you can just play... Play 18. Yeah, Nicole's doing well. Nicole did straighten my hair. Yes, that is true. That is true. Um, there's definitely, like, no card I really want to play here. Honestly, like, the study isn't bad. We just, like, hit our flyer. Just like deal three, learn. In our sideboard for learn, we have Annihilation, Sciences, Summoning, and Summoning. So yeah, we have four good uh, lessons. Um, the Adept's like, I guess the Adept's like, it's okay. It's really not an exciting card. Um, negate planning through with a lot of like wheel spinning early on. All right, sure, I'll try the adept. All right, so campus, campus, add some landos. Oh, I don't, I don't have nice lands in this account. <laughs> That's funny. All right, well, uh, we're gonna play one planes. I think one planes is plenty for two spells. We have campus guide and the, the other one. Play some islands and what mountain do I like? How about that one? Oh, that one. And we have two red campuses. This is uh, eight 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 two right now. That is true. A pump spell on the muse is pretty amusing. Um. Yeah, actually, what's 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 what, 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 spell? I actually like that a lot. What did I say we're playing? Sixteen is a sixteen line. What I what did I put in the deck? Oh, screw the adapt. That card's terrible. Um, so hyped for this. With you all the way. Let's go, Bronze Mythic. Who's pumped? Um, do I want more red or blue? Red or I don't. It's like so like even. Probably red, I guess. Give me one more mountain. And then we'll go back to our cards and add this pump spell. And this is our first deck. Prediction time, folks. Oh, no. It went away. Place your bets, please. Place your bets, please. Prediction time. And I think it's our deck, folks. I'm pretty happy with this deck. Pretty happy with this deck. Let's jump right in. But first, we work from our sponsors at CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right, the bets are whoa. We got we got a lot of a lot of a lot of believers here. Led up by Sonic Arpika, moderator extraordinaire. And for those who want to know about Reed Duke, also uh, just so you know, Mod Monday Showdown is coming next Monday, and I've issued a challenge. A challenge, a challenge, a challenge, and the challenge is to the Reed himself. That's right. I've challenged Reed Duke for our next Mod Monday Showdown, and uh, Boomer John versus Goblins. Modern historic, historic and legacy, and uh, that's gonna be this coming Monday. It should be awesome. Predictions are rolling in. Our first hand is is fine. We can keep this. Let's go. Let's go. All right. What's up, Stoop? Dispute a. Eh? Right. Dispute's like okay in our deck. It's like fine. 
Yes, today I am cosplaying as Reed Duke. Unintentionally. All right, we're gonna thrill away. We have like we have zero creatures and we want to draw lands. Why we thrill away the dispute? God, don't counter this. Imagine they mitigated this. All right, uh, land, sure. All right, this is fun. And you can see at the bottom here because you're all obsessed with my hair. If you get 1,200 subs by the end of the week, I'll do a, a Liberty Spikes like punk rock haircut stream before I shave my head off. Oh, what is this card? Vavilda Dina Perfection. Three mana for a 2 2. You may exile an instant or sorcery card from your hand and put so many freaking words in these goddamn flip cards. Uh, you may exile a sorcery card from your hand and put a hone counters on it. It gains the meaning of your upkeep. If this card is exiled, move a hone counter on it. When the last hone counter is removed. So it basically gives the card suspend, sort of. I'm not, I'm not reading the back. The back's much better, right? The back's, like, really good. Um, all right, so we're just going to kill this, I guess, because it's, I, I, whatever, we have a million mana available. Um, yeah, sure. God, so much damage. Yeah. Those are my reading glasses. Thank you very much. Um... I'm just gonna kill this. I, I don't know. Our hand's pretty gassy. We just have like a bunch of removal and a big card draw spell, so like. That card's also good. Expressionist, it's a 4 4. We have Maelstrom Muse, though. We can copy this uh, Pigment Storm. So it's a 4 4. If you cast a source spell, choose our creature you control. One of her gains if we leave the battlefield. Sure. Alright, so we're gonna just uh, play this thing and say, yep. It's my reading glasses. <laughs> Nothing like the unintentional read Duke cosplay. What do they got this turn? What do they got this turn? Bronze the Mythic Hype. Let's go. Your final predictions are in. And 69% uh, believe in me. Hold on. Let me do it again. Ready? 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 Four fours coming in. No blocks. Mr. Bobo, thanks for following. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome everyone to Bronze to Mythic. Happy to have you. Let's go. It's not a wig. It's my hair. Nicole straightened it. I cannot wait to field questions about my hair for the next eight hours. Pillar Drop Warden is a 1-5 that can return instant sorcerers. They have none of those. It also has reach. So I can attack and make the next spell cost two less. And then I can kill both. Oh, this, is, this is pretty sick. All right, send you in. Now this costs less, and this costs less also. One, it's, it's the next instance. It's not both. But we can like play this and copy it and just kill both the creatures. Block, sure. So we'll play this, target this, copy this, target this, oh, trample damage. What's up, Borg? So our very first game, I think our next pretty good. I think our next pretty good. I guess I like, I mean, now I want to like, Quiz into artists who draw land, I guess. If we, if we just like quiz and play the land finder spell, it's also fine too, honestly. This card's sweet. This card's really good. Accumulation of studies. This is a uh, exile top X cards of your library. For each land exile, make a treasure. For each blue card, draw a card. For each red card, deal one to opponent. And they exiled two lands and two multicolored cards. So they drew two, dealt two, and made two treasures. That's pretty good. We drew a land, which is cool. Um, we can just artist and copy pop quiz too. Jeez, they have played a lot of rares. Uh, they have played a lot of rares this game, and they're not even close to winning, which is great. Um, <laughs> talk about this. And we probably just play artist 
and then play pop quiz and then copy it. Yeah, Ruth is like pretty busted. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with our first pick. Uh, pretty busted, Ruth. So pop quiz, hot shot, and we're gonna get uh, an elemental summoning, and then we'll get a fractal summoning. And we got a we got a lot going on. We got a lot going on here. And uh, from my initial reports, it, it, I do wish I had started this bronze mythic like, earlier. Um, it has been like out for like a week or two. So initial reports seem to be this is a, this is a big play format. Uh, unfortunately, with Nicole Surge, which couldn't start it sooner. But um, so big play format, big play format. Um, and we are making big plays, as you can see. As you can see, big plays, right, folks? Who's hyped for Bronze Mythic? Let's go. Pause of the tank. Wally thanks for the ball. Solve the equation. We're going to use that nerd button a lot, probably. A lot. Yes. Look at my hair. Look at it. I should be in a Calvin Klein commercial or something. Or, uh, no, no, um, the, uh, a L'Oreal, whatever. All right, so they, they search for our kill spell, they're gonna kill my muse, but, like, we just have a thousand cards in our hand. And they just pump, no, yeah, never mind, this is, like, plus one toughness. Bronze to All right, maybe they'll screw up. They screwed up. They let me attack, they screwed up. All right, I don't know what they're doing. No. Oh, it's a sorcery. Ah, oh, so they, they thought it was an instant. And them thinking it was an instant fooled me into thinking it was an instant. Um, sure. I'm just going to keep playing stuff, so. We draw a second Ruta, too. All right, we can, um, we'll just summon in here and make a 4-4 four four and so go. We're, like, losing our engine a little bit. Um... I was hoping they were going to cast this and I was going to, going to study copy it. I don't know why they would let me do that. That doesn't make any sense. So, I think we're pretty handily winning regardless of what we do. Um, we have five awesome spells in our hand. And uh, this draws cards. This just draws a card. Teach by example. If we forkin? We forkin? We're forkin here, folks. So they kill my artist and the muse. The problem is they're just like dying, so I don't think it matters. So I'll land. We have this thing gives trample too. So we're just gonna make a huge token here. This is a, a six six. We have pump spell and trampling and rule spell, so I have the same card in my hand, but I can't see if it's sorcery or not, because it's hidden, you know. We're learning, folks. Bronze and Mythic is our first draft. We're just a lowly bronze four player. All right. That's all we know. That's all we know. Creative Outburst, deal five and Impulse. They're dead. Good card, but... It actually seems like a worse version of ours. Ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. That's uh, Connor McDavid's number, right? Connor McDavid is really freaking good. All right, our first win. Let's go. Match number two, bronze to mythic. Does bronze exist? It's pretty hard to stay in bronze. Um, you get you don't lose for losing, and you get points for winning. So like, you just need to play a couple of drafts, and you know you'll eventually get there. Bronze to Mythic. All right, so let's go. Punt's also bronze. We got the old Grinning Ingus. That's not, that's not really a grin. That's more of a grin, right? Grin's more of like a, you know, like a light, like, not like a big smile. But I thought he was set. I listened to the Lords of Limited podcast. Um, they're really, really good. Really good podcast. 
and I did uh, I did two drafts during the my downtime of the Insight Esports tournament, and then I played the Hunter Pence Sweatsuit Invitational draft tournament. Thirty-two players, single limb, tons of great players, and I lost the finals. I actually punted the finals. I should have won. Um, it was my only draft in the format, so. I would like to do Bronze Symmetic totally cold, having my, my first draft before be the first match, but I just didn't have time to get Bronze Symmetic going with everything that's going on, so. But yeah, Lords Unlimited is really good stuff with their podcast. Um, I recommend, recommend them a lot. Good rundown. I was driving to get my second COVID shot, listen to that podcast. All right, so uh, Silver Claw Prentice and Humiliate. Why, why, why would they? This is post combat. We're in bronze, folks. We're in bronze. All right. Um, this is. I'm gonna throw the Angus away, actually. Um, so I want to make sure we. we uh, I don't think Angus is very good. I guess it blocks, but. Eh, whatever. Just let it resolve. Go nuts. Pretty good card here. Humiliate. Obviously better with a one drop, but. So they actually discarded the Ingus for me. Sure. So we're gonna draw. I'm not gonna throw yet. Oh, Muse is great. Muse is awesome. So we'll uh we'll just pop quiz end step. Pop quiz, hot shot. What's that from? Die hard, maybe? What's that from? Somebody help me out. I like this board a lot though. It's like aesthetically pleasing while also being fairly simple and non uh non annoying. Speed. Reason behind drawing before we discard. I just want to get the... Make sure I'm drawing lands. Um, Glen Gary, Glen Ross. What? I don't think it's from that one. Uh, Alright, so... We're going to get... Um, we don't have our, our white source yet. We've got a muse coming next turn. I'm going to get the sciences. Unfortunately, this thing's going to be really big next turn if they, if they want to pump it. I guess we have the Pigment Storm, though, so it's kind of okay. Let's play our Muse here. Funny, Muse can make this thing free to cast. It's kind of awesome. This card's really good. I've been very impressed with this card so far. Yeah, visually appealing, but not an eyesore. I like Sport a lot. Study break. Tap two target creatures, learn. And then pump this with Magecraft, sure. Academic probation. Choose an online card name, opponents can't cast spells of a chosen name until next turn. Or choose a permanent and it can't attack or block until next turn. So they're gonna lock down my muse. Return. We are actually dying, we are at seven. Um. They're a closing statement, just kill it. Okay. We are dying this game, honestly. I mean, we should do Rutha. We can, like, just kill this 4 4 right now. And then they have a 2 2 in play. We can kind of, like, get around that. This is fine. So I'm just gonna kill this now. Now, I think I have three. They have three cards left now. Like, we're flush with gas. We have a 1 4 blocker. We have sciences. They have, they have another land. Oh my god. Okay. Well, now we're dead. Um. Unless we have two blockers this turn, we're dead. Or, or, or... Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! This is what it's like being Reduke. This is what it's like. I like it. I kind of like it. Let's go! Five life points. And I can copy Thrill, too. That's pretty dope. Oh yeah, let's go. Play this. And we're going to copy Thrill, discarding the other copy of Rutha. Step. Scrying. Bottom, like that. Oh, they bricked. They bricked. Alright, we're going to play Thrill Possibility. Discarding the other Rutha. And we're going to copy it. 
Big plays. I thought we were dead, but we got lucky and drew the perfect spell on the perfect turn. So we won, actually. Uh, funny how that goes, right? Snow day. Campus guide. Sure. Elite spellbinder. How much product is in my hair? Uh, almost nothing. Nicole, like a, a little like spray thing or whatever. It's supposed to make it less frizzy. But she just, she just straightened it, put some, put the thing in. All right, we're gonna play Rutha, play Spellbinder, and play Canvas Guide. Yes, definitely. Obsessed with my hair. Obsessed. Obsession. For Twitch chat. You know you love me. Women want him, and men want to be him. All right, so play that, play this. We're not getting a land, so we'll play Campus Guide, obviously. Paint Buck, reset, month number two, most important month. Thanks so much, appreciate that. Uh, no land for me, so you go. Topping? All right, they're topping. There's no, like, Lava Axe in, uh, in Silver Quill, is there? Flying strike, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Maelstrom Muse. Um, that card's good. I mean, they're just like dead, so. We're gonna copy study next turn and kill them. We have Snow Day, too. What's up, Hale? Alright, here you go. Instead of Scry. They have flooded pretty bad this game. Oh, they're chopping. That's kind of a problem that Silver Quill has, though. We're like, they don't really have the good flood insurance things. Apprentice, sure. They're just, like, never going to cast this card? They should take it with them to the grave. Just never going to cast it. Alright, so we're going to attack with everything, copy, study, and kill them. Not an instant, is it? It's a sorcery. Let's go. Cheaper spells. Make some blocks. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. They are exactly dead. Give me this. Copy this. We have to learn too. I like learning. Sure. Doesn't matter. You're dead. Are we dead? Maybe, maybe, maybe we're actually one short. Because they've lost. Too short. Wow, I'm better than that. All right, uh, and we'll just play. Is it an instant or sorcery? Sorcery, sure, whatever. I mean, they could have. There are rats in the format, so we'll just say go. I think we're in pretty good shape here. Campus, sure. Thanks, Charizard James. Appreciate it. I'm dead sexy. All right, there we go. Bronze tier three, making moves. I think our deck's pretty good. I think our deck has uh, done a pretty good job of, you know, we're making the big plays we need to in this format. Uh, we almost died that game. We're a little light on like early removal, but I think Silver Quill is the only like really aggressive deck. It's kind of, Boros is usually like the default aggressive deck in the format, but the Boros cards are a little more grindy, honestly. Spellbinder, a little elite splash here, a little PVDDR. Adventure's Impulse, sure. Did I say Boros? I meant Lorehold. You're up. Boros isn't real. Wanderix, okay. The good thing about uh, Approach is that, like, it seems like the big thing is just, like, go really big and do big creature dumb stupid stuff. 
And this just sort of ignores all that. You know, it's, I don't care how big the are, I'm gonna win the game. There's our other Rutha, sure. I mean, we can use Angus to copy Pigment Storm next turn. It doesn't even do much. All right, creatures in play, so. Pick one back one one was Rutha. And again, anything you miss here on Bronson Mythic will always be on my YouTube. So Bronson Mythic returns to YouTube. The ward here is two mana. Um, okay, so we can like pay it with Ignis and Pigment Storm and just deal them four. That's pretty good. Sure. I'm sure. Trample damage. Yes, you can't copying second time doesn't do anything big against seven life, which is very good, honestly. But all right, uh, let's draw some more land those here. We also have our two white cards, unfortunately, and no no learn cards. We can find our splash, which is fine for now. Ooh, that one hurts. We, we needed that one. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Well, I guess, uh, reinforcements have arrived. Tangle Trap? Main deck Tangle Trap? Multiple choice? That card's so good! That This card is actually probably one of the best rares of the set for limited. It's a 4 4 that bounces something and draws a card. That card's messed up. And we're gonna lose this game, honestly. We just don't have anything. Um, they just have played rule spells and we can't cast our spells, and we're just gonna lose. Um, we can like chump on the Rutha, I guess. What's up, Donkey? Not sure if Tangle Traps have made deckable cards this format, but sure. Alright, we're gonna try Chump Block here. Multiple Choice is busted. Just like an insane busted tempo card. 4-4, four, four, bounce a thing, draw a card. Like, that's the rate you want in Limited. It's also a spell for Spell Mastery. Just couldn't ask for a better card in Limited. It's like the perfectly simple, efficient, awesome card. Mario Apprentice is also really good. Um, I mean... One, two, three. If we draw a white, we still can't cast Approach. This sucks. All right, well, I guess we're going to cast it for the cheap amount and just hope we can mize something. It's a game. Oh my god, we drew a bunch of non... Uh, bunch of non Alright, we're dead. Tough game there. Tough game. They just had, like, the answer on every street and, like, multiple good cards. Alright, it's fine, I guess. I mean, drawing both of our white cards and no way to cast them is also pretty tough, too. Basically, I'm all going to five that game as well, but that's alright. That's alright. Gotta lose some games, you know? Hey, folks, we're brought to you by Call Us Apparel. Call Us Apparel at shop. Promo code Jim10, 10% off your order. The best shirts there are for Magic. It's not even close. Super comfortable, super high quality, super great designs. Buy my shirt, too. Call us apparel at that shop. Promo code Jim10, 10% off your order. Call us apparel at the shop. Uh, sure. Now we got our fixin'. Ready to roll. Campus Guide. I like that Ruth is also a 1 4 blocker. It's like pretty sick too, which is like good in the early game as well. You're a bold white source of this game. Alright, let's go. Let's go. A little uh, Golgari action. Wither Wither Boom. Wither Boom. Wither Boom. Wither Boom. Wither Boom. Alright, so, uh, gonna attack. 
Be Rutha or Spectre? They just Spectre Mage here. It's not better. Is Dress main deck in this format? Probably. I mean, Negate's really good. I imagine Dress is fine, too. Brackish Trudge. Solid card. Negate. Speak of a devil. Speak of a devil. Um... Like leaving a gate up here. I'm not really scared of honestly. Let's play this. Approach about six currently because of the spectacle mage. Really cool. Let's see how this turn goes for us. If we get to untap here safely, I think we're in pretty good shape. Just don't play something dumb this turn. Coming in. Effects of four blockers. I ain't blocking. <laughs> you got me. Ten the pest. Cast this thing makes four one ones. That was a pretty good uh, negate target, but I think we're all right. That was pretty good for them, but... Now, we can cast Approach if we want to. We can't copy it or anything, but... Probably just cast Approach. And you're leaving the gate up here doesn't seem super relevant. What are they doing? What's, what is taking so long? Just, uh... Oh, I can't guess it yet. I'm wrong. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. Can't do math. It reduces the cost, but not by that much. Not by that much. Now they can attack, we block, and they get back their brackish trudge, which is fine. Which is fine. Ram session. Is this worth negating? I might get their... Eh, yeah, sure. It's fine. We don't, like, don't really care about their life because we have this approach. We are attacking as, like... I think it's correct to attack as well, but... And they get an introduction to Annihilation. Sure. Get back their Trudge because this gains life. Sure. They should just attack first, I feel like. All right. Don't attack at all. Sure, whatever. See if I care. Gritting Ingus. Ingus would allow us to approach, copy it, or approach and leave the gate up. Um, which I'm kind of down with, honestly. Let's just block these 1-1s. One -ones. Yeah, this is fine. I don't really like a huge rush here, so... How good would Spectacle Mage be without CMC restriction? I mean, really good. Like one man or one man in a gate be really really good. Field trip, look for a forest and learn. Sure. Approach approach copy gain fourteen is cool, but the old grinning dingus pest summoning. Sure. All right. Sure. I mean the thing about these these Dolgari decks, it feels like, is they make a lot of pests and then just don't do anything. I did lose to a, Gal a Galgari deck in the finals of that tournament I keep talking about. Uh, but their deck was really good. And they had a lot of good rares to go with it, too. What's a Withered one? Alright, so... I kind of want to play Approach and leave the gate up. We got to, like, copy the Approach. I don't think copying Approach matters, honestly. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we have nine mana. We're one short of copying approach and leaving the gate up. I mean, if they annihilation, I draw a card, I don't care. If they play Pest Summoning or Prophecy, I don't care. I mean, the gates just went unnecessary. I'll just copy it. Sure. Make some mana, play a land, play approach, copy it. We're at 30. 
Thirte. And the approach is coming. Do a lot of card draw in our deck too, so it's kind of cool. What are you, uh, what are you doing, Bonnie? You got these pests and stuff. What's your, uh, what's your plan here? A lot of learning. A lot of learning. Prophecy, sure. Are there any mill effects in black? Bottom, bottom, sure. We love the bottom. Could die in six turns. I mean, I, I guess that's possible. The command, <laughs> Wither Bloom command to mill my approach second son. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. I could buy that. I could buy that. <sighs> Crushing disappointment. Each, each player loses two and you gain. I mean, sure. They just have so many cards, but it doesn't matter. That's what I was saying about the approach, where, like, approach is so good because this seems to be a big card draw, big play, make a 10 10, draw a bunch of cards kind of format. And approach just ignores all that. You just have time to cast it in the game. That's pretty cool. That's two loots towards uh, the thing. We can copy it with artists, though, too. Uh, we can't Rutha and Ingus and Negate. But again, I don't know if we even need to do any of that. Let's take it. Bonus is playing very passively. Um, they could have attacked on turn 5, and if I blocked, returned the trudge. We're also just killing them. You know, they are dead in 4 turns. We're gonna exile my Rutha and let me draw a card. Cool. So now we're four cards of approach. We're gonna cram session again. Keep gaining life. You got it. You got it. Expanded a ton anatomy. Sure. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. Um, I don't want the approach to be in my hand. I want to draw it and then win the game, so it can't be discarded in some way. So I can like just draw, draw two here, or draw three, I guess. Tapping five would negate up. All right, I mean, this all feels pretty great. This card seems awesome. I think the Mystic Archives are really fun, too. Like, it's really just, like, the weird... Like, it's just, like, a lot of really weird, interesting spells being added to a format. It makes things, like, really, really cool. It's a lot of, like, different things. Like, not going to see this card that often, but it's pretty sweet. What if they mill me? I have the gate. I'll say I have a creature that mills me. And I'm also just winning the game in the air, too, so... We got them on all fronts here, folks. On all fronts. My one fear for this series is it seems like a pretty slow format. It's not going to take a while, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Bronson Mythic, everyone. Let's hear Bronson Mythic. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, you can make it. You're just dead opponent. What are you doing? The bad news is, this is the bad news, folks. Hear me out. The bad news is there's just no cool animation for approach. You just there's nothing. Wizards of the Coast earnings were up like 15% this quarter. Um, they made their, and their, their like profit margin was like 47% or something like that. So I'm posted it on, a uh, on Twitter, which is of a coast hire some freaking more people. All right. I want a spectator mode. I want animations for all the actual cards. All right. Um, yeah, it sounds fun. Boom. Again, dispute's pretty awkward in our deck. Like, we don't really force block super well. The old Ingus. I'm just gonna throw away the dispute again. Yeah. But animations cost money, and we don't want to get rid of the money we're making. Yeah. Yeah. Hunt for specimens. Sure.
What you hunting for? What you hunting for? Inkling summoning, sure. Spew's pretty bad, like I think. Mage, however, is awesome. Negate. You can just negate this inkling summoning. But I think this is fine. Yeah, if you're gonna win the game with an ultimate gun, it's gotta have animation. It's gotta have animation. What's up, Yogi? Hasbro does have a large pie that they hate spending money on. Why spend money? You can make money. Look at this freaking, look at this freaking hair. Inkling summoning, sure. Didn't draw land, tilt. All right, I was planning for a land here. I mean, both these cards are really good, but we should take a land, so whatever. This. There it is. No attacks. There you go. Heh! <laughs> I gotta get Reed to curl his hair from Hog Monday. That's funny. Look at this freaking thing. Happy little ink. Happy little ink thing. Coming in, you got it. Take two. No problem. Very happy. Pogo for the ages. That card's good. Pretty solid card. Good grindy late game card. All right, we drew a land. That's sweet. Um, we could draw three here. You just like kill the the inkling. Draw three is pretty good. We can just draw more cards though later. You know, I'm gonna kill the inkling. Like. We play Angus, we take four next turn, it's kind of a lot. We would have negate up, which is kind of cool. I guess we could draw more cards than next turn. Yeah, sure, let's Angus. Give me old Angus. So we're planning for next turn of bouncing Angus and playing, draw much cards. Hopefully they play a spell here, we can negate it. I think we'll negate most things here, unless it's like pretty relevant. Play some big five mana sorcery. All right, no blocks. Take four. Pwn's tanking. In the tank. Expel. Eh. Need this bad boy alive. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call, call this Hootie. Me and Hootie here. Let's go Hootie. We could draw a lot of cards this turn. So X is gonna be five. Six. I mean, that was too many, honestly. All right, we'll ditch the. Uh, I mean, spell is actually like not not bad. We can't cast though. Just ditch these two. Solar drop warden's nice too. Heated debate, sure. They put us to nine here, and we just play like, good blockers. We removal spells. We got it all here. We got it all. 
Alright, that was pretty good. Pump their entire team. I got a six. Sure. Spell satchel? I've seen better. Um, Alright. Pillar drop and Ingus. We actually could just leave up our heated debate, probably. Yeah, that's better. So if they have a, a trick or a pump spell, we can we can use that instead. I like that a lot better. Right, so you go. Pretty transparent that we have something, because obviously we didn't cast the Ingus, but. Now we have a pillar drop for great blocks. Oh my god, Becky. Ugh. Planes, sure. Another uh another uh Orzov deck here that's flooding pretty bad. Guiding voice targeting the token. So we can like we can fizzle this. Yeah, I guess. Kills their creature and basically preemptively counters their learn spell. Seems like if you want to be silver coil, you got to be really aggressive. You really got to get under the big things these decks can do. They're coming. Oh lord, they coming. Oh, we're staying alive, so. Uh. Uh, okay. I mean, that was cool. Tell me more. Sure. Approach the second sun. Sure. We can buy back our freaking, uh. X spell too. Jeez. I have to tap it too. All right. Yeah, I'm doing that. All right, you're up. So like, all of our cards are very expensive, but we have a lot of mana, and we have Grinning Angus, and we're at 6 life. Play planes, sure. And the problem is that like, as the game goes on, our cards get better and better, and Silver Quill doesn't seem to have that. It feels like all their cards are just kind of like, they just are what they are. And on turn 8, they just still are what they are. They can't actually take this. It, it, it looks like they can't take any of our cards. They can't take the mastery. Uh, Kane, resub. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Remember, folks, you're all obsessed with my hair. So if we get 1,200 subs by the end of the week, we'll do a, a Punk Rock Liberty Strike, Liberty Spike stream. They only have one option. So our hands are still really good, though. So now I'm a little sad we, we, we played the mountain. We can't discard it the snow day, but it's fine. This card seems bad. Mangorian resub, thanks so much. They are really tanking. This card is actually pretty good in this format. So many of the, the important cards are instant sorceries that it's going to like be a terminate most of the time. Um, trying to go bronze and with only four days left. Oh, you're right. The season ends in four days. Oh my god. I didn't even consider that. I guess we are. Shh, Nikes. Uh, all right. I mean, we just need to draw a Wayland. I, I I didn't realize that. So only, only our first draft. It seems like a pretty cool format so far. All right, well, we're gonna kill this, I guess. Maybe I'll just tap it and just draw. Sure. I did not even think of that. Oh my god. Another land. Ram session. Sure. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm also surprised no one pointed that out. It doesn't say it anymore on the thing. You say like, you know, four days left, eight days left. Reduce to memory. Exile non land permanent and make a 3 2. Okay, sure. <laughs> Did it. Did it. I think we're in good shape, folks. Alright, so I guess lots of drafting coming up. Will I keep my hair the rest of the season? No. Spectacle Mage. Yeah. So, uh, like, we're just going to kill our opponent before the thing even goes off, so. True land, too. Cool. Uh, I mean, fractal summoning. Might just get the 4-4. Four four. It's more mana efficient because we're, like, playing a spell during the two, so... We have five or four cards to approach. Combat Professor, sure. Yeah, I mean, totally fine. Okay, um, we've got 10 mana, not have to do everything, we can do most things, double scry to approach, we can just like win the game, you know, like, I think we're just gonna try and kill them and then approach is secondary, like they're taking 7 here, that's cute, alright, sure. All right, well now we're gonna start summoning because this is indestructible anyway, so play this, play this, there you go. Look, there's no animation for approach, right? So you gotta write a letter, letter to uh, Watsi and be like, listen, I was watching Jim's stream and he just didn't care about approaching because there's no, no cool animation, so. Yeah, disappointment, sure. Like, I don't know what our opponent can do to beat us. You know, like, the, the approach just looms. I don't think they're beating us anyway, honestly. Pull it to the tank. Spectre of the Fens, sure. Oh my god, that is huge. I was asking what Liberty Spikes are here. That's what Liberty Spikes are, right? 1200 subs by the end of the week, and we'll, we'll do that. But can you just, like, hurry up? Like, we the game's over, you know? Just, we'll just keep going here. Kill this. I kill all my stuff. We have a scry and a scry win the game. Here are three. Play lands, they go. I your long hair is annoying, I must say. You folks tuning in, welcome to the stream. This is Bronze to Mythic, the show where I go from Bronze to Mythic. I built a new account. I had to make a new account for Bronze to Mythic. We're doing it, we're doing it every set now because everyone likes it so much, which is great. And uh, it's our first draft. We are two and one. Our deck's pretty good. We are uh, Prismari splashing approach second sun. Um, the hair stuff, it's in chat. Read, read, the, read, the, read the command. And uh, Nicole straightens her hair usually. So 
Does some stuff, you're just gonna die, blah, 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 blah. The, uh, we're just trying to win some drafts here. Move it up. Let's go. Uh, John's hair is not any straight. I mean, this card's good, but we're showing the game. It doesn't matter, so. How many lands we got? Five, six, seven, plenty? Sure. All right. Opponent's really going to take this to the end here. Look at this sick synergy here of our Scrylands and our freaking approach. Let's go. Oops. Yay. Blouses. After it was all over, we took us in the house of service. Well, we're moving on now. We're moving on Alright, let's go. Bronze tier two. Moving up. Moving up. Early parts of bronze submit, they tend to go pretty quick. We're four and one now. I lied earlier. I lied. Folks tuning in, welcome to the show with that follow button. Of course, we're on YouTube. We're watching on YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on bronze submit returning. And your uh, your comment of the day on YouTube is, uh, we have Reed Duke at home. Hands fine. You can cast your spells. Can you borrow me? Uh, what's up, Tits? everything all right you can text me let me know what's going on all right so uh planning sure negate guide mountain we have four lands uh negate's pretty they're they're red red let's take negate there's no more lands are you sure, Toads? I can take three seconds to check. And uh, we'll Spellbinder here. Let's just go. Spellbind it up. PVDDR. All right, so they have a Freet Flame Painter, which can cast spells from your graveyard. Claim the Firstborn. Okay. Discovery and Pigment Storm. Let's take the, uh, the Flame Speaker. It's our first time drawing uh, drawing white early. We have two white cards, a nice light splash. Can't carry your lunch, sure. Need to go rescue Nicole. For those who don't know, my, my wife got uh, got foot surgery on her ankle uh, two weeks ago. She's been unable, unable to move anywhere or do anything. So I've been uh, taking care of her while trying to stream and take care of John and make the food and take care of the dog and, and so on and so forth. It's been a pretty crazy uh, pretty crazy week. So that's why I brought some music has been pushed back a little more than I would like to have. Kill that, sure. Maybe I shouldn't have played the uh, the, the muse that turned into their uh, thing, but whatever. We gotta kill their this thing, honestly. Um, I guess we can like block and pump spell. Karn should take care of himself. He's a lazy dog. He's a lazy dog. All right, well now this card's pretty busted. Has to hit me though, so I also have allergies too. All right. Um. I mean, we can just block this thing. It has double strike, but it's not even that much. Claim the firstborn. Throwing discovery. I'm gonna leave back two blockers here and leave up negate and study. That's fine. Just say go. Throwing discovery. This is like a almost mono red deck here. Look at this. Opponent's not going to college. Opponent's like, screw that. I'm just playing red. They have a study here. We're in big trouble, but we have the negate, so. They gotta claim my spectacle mage. Oh 
Okay. Don't love defensive pump spells, but you gotta do what you gotta do. We'll get a 4 4 here. Get off my plate. Get out of here, rare. Now you have the gate up, too. God, this is a sick turn. Oh, uh, let's go. Let's go. The gate's been good. That is a flashy thing. That is definitely a flashy thing. Mono red. You love to see it. It's mono red. It's quite the orky sound. Okay. Five and one. Blouses. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's get out of bronze here, folks. We're in draft number one, bronze to mythic. And remember, folks, we are brought to you by... Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Well, folks, bad news. Uh, Karn escaped, and Nicole starved to death. So uh, I failed in my I failed in my tasks. That's kind of all your fault too. Kind of all your fault. Fault. Remake my token, my new hair. This is not my new hair. All right, this is just the the hair I have for this stream because I had to sell out and get sponsored by Rage Shadow. Because I'm, I'm I gotta get rich. I gotta get rich. All right. Need that Raid Shadow Legends money. Please keep the hair, you will sub. I don't know if your three dollars is worth me keeping my hair. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know? You can just sub because you like it. You know? But you can't control me. Kinda. I can keep this. It's fine. There it is! Set read new sub, what's your name away from? Thanks so much, appreciate that. You great. You great. The cost of hair product to maintain that thing alone be at least three dollars a month. Yeah, probably. All right, we drew a lamb, which is dope. Let's see how good our satchel is here. This card did not seem very good so far. Bio mathematician. Okay. So we can like make a blocker here. We can draw some cards. Um, we could pop quiz into warden and blocker instead. I think we're gonna do that. Just say go. We'll pop quiz, we'll learn, and we'll uh, make a warden to bless a blocker. What do you got for me, Quandrix? Huh? Main phase moment. Quandrix seems so good. Pop quiz, hot shot. Didn't draw land. All right. Well, uh, I think we're getting sciences here now. All right, we drew a land. Um, let's play Rutha and play land now. Oh, we do have mana actually. We could have cast the one four with this thing. There's no like restriction on the mana you can use. Sure. Oh. What do you got for me? Big play. I mean, pump spells just like don't seem good in this deck at all. That's fine. It's bronze, whatever. Serpentine curve, sure. Um, get our planes. I'll play Mal. I can't play. I can't play these actually. That's pretty funny. So I should tap his first. Sure. That was a mistake. I screwed up. Uh, that's fine. I should tap Mr. Mana first, I like, guess, and use, but it's honestly kind of better, maybe, because maybe we just, like, play a stabilizing blocker and then play our good card. Go to 16. 
That's annoying. So weird. So weird. I only got three cards left. And they're not like playing big cards. They're playing things like big play instead of making actual big plays. You're trying to gate? That's fun. It's pretty good, honestly. Now you have thrill and negate up. Ryan. Got him. Leyline Invocation. Make an 8-8. Eight eight. Uh... Get off my plane. Sorry, friend. I don't agree. I don't agree. Yeah, Hatchling, I didn't really realize the uh, the season was resetting so soon, so I guess we are. Heated debate. Sure. Um, Alright. I just like draw cards here, honestly. They don't got much left. Oh god. Hi. We're gonna draw cards, I think. Just draw five cards, maybe. Make a land drop, and we'll have so many cards. We draw four, I think. We'll keep a, keep a counter on Satchel. Approach. That's great. I can thrill now if I want to, too. But I probably want to thrill um, after approach. We can get, we can do our approach faster. We drew a spectacle mage, too. It's pretty good. This is pretty sweet. I like this. I like this. Golden ratio. Draw a card. Reach from power. One, three, one, three. Draw two. Pretty good. Pump the fractals up. Play land. Ooh, that's scary. That's an actual scary card. It can get things flying, so sure. Wait, what? They didn't manage to do it, too? Oh, man. That's scary. Alright. What? They're not attacking? Are you insane? <laughs> It's it's seven to zero. So this is like this is just like pretty, pretty typical bronze play. So it's really important to recognize your what your role is in the game, right? I have reach. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. I mean, they should still attack with everything else. Like, just swing. You know. So the the understanding your role in a game. Right now, our opponent has the board, and we have seven cards in our hand. The longer the game goes, the worse it gets for them. They are the beatdown. They need to kill us as fast as possible. Um. So a little misevaluation of our of our opponent's role here. Um, all right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna hold the thing, and now I can just like pump spell to kill this too. Oh yeah, this is this is a this is a disaster for them. Uh, four, that's one, three. Yeah, we can uh, land, attack. Now approach or our pump spell costs less. They block. We pump spell for one mana. Don't need to force the block because they already they already they basically told us they're blocking anyway, so don't need to force a block there. 
Um, and we kill that. And we cast the brooch. We go well over 20 life, and now we just gotta just gotta play all waiting game. Looting, sure. Game. Blouses. Oh yeah. Bronze tier one. Let's go. Let's finish bronze in this draft. Who you that? We got. No, we can't. You got a seven zero to get from bronze to silver in the first draft, and we're we're six and one. We're six and one. Sloth. Sloth stands in our way. We must make them out of our way. Both white cards again. I'm still gonna keep these. We have Rutha and Muse. We have a lot of we have a lot of, a lot of fixing dudes. We have like two white sources, the two one that can find a planes, and then we have four or five learn cards, and we have the uh, environmental scientist card in our board. So second Rutha, not really a good draw. Not really a good draw. You don't lose rank in bronze. Correct. You don't lose rank, but you also. Um, should I buy this to guarantee a moves next turn? I think I should, actually. You also don't gain rank when you win, so... I guess you're right, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm lying to you. I am lying. Revitalize? Pretty cool card. Good Magecraft trigger. Lash of Malice? Rude. The land? No. Why you gotta be so rude? Ugh. Tainted Pact? This is fun. They're just gonna keep the defend the campus. Sure. Mage Hunter? That's actually pretty good. But oh, look! Oh, it's oh my god! You're the perfect answer. Look at us. Didn't draw land, but... That's pretty annoying. Pretty annoying. Mage Hunter. Owlin Shield Mage. We drew the land. We did it. Bluff an attack here. Love it. This thing ain't blocking anyway. And they're scared of the pump spell. Spectre of the Fens. They defend the campus, sure. Uh, oh, we actually can't attack because we uh, they can double block, so. Play this and say go. I would love to copy Pikmin Storm. That's definitely uh, on the agenda for sure. Silver Call Apprentice, sure. They can give all their creatures plus one, plus one. Oh, I can't wait to drive Lightning Helix. I can't wait. I can't wait. The button's all ready. So they have one card and they have Defend the Campus. They don't really have any attacks here. Another Spectre. Sure. We're going to make our stuff cheap. Cheap. This card's cool. I like this card. Good old Hootie here. Good old Hootie. Leech Fanatic. Sure. Campus Guide. Uh, okay. Sure. Reach my life? That's fine. Alright, so, uh... You missed it! Mog Monday. I play goblins every Monday, of course. The first Monday of the month is a Mog Monday showdown. When I challenge a fellow content creator, my deck versus their deck. Challenge Reed Duke to Boomer Jun. If you missed it. If you missed it. This coming Monday. Draw land. I mean, now I can storm and copy it. They can obviously pump the team. It doesn't really matter. I'm just target this and this. So this gives plus one plus O. Oh. Yeah, so we're going to storm. Targeting this. We're going to root it and copy it. And target this. Pay three life. You can't copy approach to win the game. You got to cast it. Copying it is not cast. Yeah. 
And we're going to send in the Spectacle Mages. Uh, and just say go. Because the... We can't line up two twos on, on two twos with, the, with this, they have this, this, this card in their hand, so... Correct. No, you, you you have not cast Approach. And it, it, says, it says if a spell is cast from your hand, too, so... If a spell is cast from your hand, so... And you've cast another spell and they approach the second sun. It misses both of those. No worries, my friend. You are not the first person to ask that question during this draft. I asked it when we after we, we hit the card. So, okay. They're just going to say go here. They have an answer to our study. We can just approach here, which is actually pretty sick. Um, We can approach off five mana, but we're going to Spellbinder, I think, and just take a look and see what's up. You do gain 14 life, that's true. Their hand is... Swords to Plowshares. They're going to Swords to Spellbinder and not the Muse? Crazy. Uh, don't play this card in Limited, folks. That's not in your main deck. Uh, all right, so they can pump their team, which is whatever. They're at 19. So I can study here. The next instant or sorcery you cast, but I can't play the land getter. Well, I can't study because they have this thing. Right. Yeah, so. I'm just going to leave this back, I guess. There's no reason to do that yet, so. I guess this can pump stuff, too. Alright, sure. Um. And we're just playing freaking approach next turn anyway, so whatever. We're gonna kill them before the approach goes off anyway, so. Alright, sure. I guess we can just approach, you know? Um, they can't cast this anymore, so now we just attack, I think. Nice hair. What's up, school? X3 sub. We'll get a. I don't know. Whatever. Something. I don't freaking matter. You get one. Play land. I should play it doesn't matter. Three mana approach, I am. This card's good. This card's good. So far, I'm it's our first draft, and I am impressed with this Pismari. I must say. Respect it. Going out on their own terms. Blouses. Going out on their own terms. All right. Well, that's it. Seven and one in our first draft. Ron's the mythic. Oh, I had Ron Barton. Sure, I can't look at that now. Yeah. That right, was pretty good. I think that was pretty good. Um, YouTube folks, like, comment, subscribe. Ron's the mythic is back, and I want you hyped for it. All right. Make sure you like, leave a comment, subscribe. Your comments and your feedback is what got this series going. Every single new set. And had not me waiting for my RP on my account to decay. So all you YouTube folks, thank you so much. Comment, support, watch the videos, watch the playlist. I love you. Thanks, YouTube. Appreciate it.